everyone and welcome back to Elizabeth Hogarth Designs. Today we are in for an absolute treat of a paper collection. It is a new release from Craft Consortium and the very talented illustrator is Hackney & Co. And this is called See and Sure. And I have to say right at the start of this, this could actually be my favourite Craft Consortium collection ever, ahead of Tell the Bees. And if you have been following me for some time, you will know how much I love Tell the Bees. So I'm going to do things slightly differently today. The embellishments and the stamps and the washi tape are so incredible that I'm going to show you those first. But I'm just going to give you a quick flick of the 6x6 six six and you will see that we've got a grey and shimmering white colour tone and the illustrations including those of puffins and oyster catchers everything that you will find by the seashore will absolutely blow you away so we're going to save the paper pads for five minutes and i am going to dive straight in and um, show you the stamped images okay so first up we've got two stamp sets the first of these includes um, a lobster a lobster pot and the lobster itself and you've got crabs and various types of shells even the illustration on the packaging is incredible and then we have your larger sea creatures and you've got the lighthouse itself and the yacht um, and you've got your puffin and I think that's an oyster catcher but don't quote me on that so I tried stamping these um, and this was the first time of stamping I didn't even have to prime the stamps and they have come out as clear as a bell so there you can see all the sizes and the various types of stamps that are included and that's only the first part. Next up we have the wooden embellishments and it looks to me as if they are the same sizing as the stamps that I've just shown you. So if you don't like stamping, buy yourselves a couple of packets of these and you've got all the toppers that you could want to complete your cards. I'm bringing it close to the camera so that you can see just how high quality they are. Moving on, we've got two sets of metal charms. The first one it has 12 pieces and they are like your cockle shells. Always high quality, these metal charms. So they're great for putting on the side of your cards or including as a little mini gift because you could turn it into a necklace or something like that or onto a key ring. And then this one has six starfish on and again... I can't stress enough how good the quality of everything from Craft Consortium is. Then we have the Sublime Washi Tape. I mean, even that packaging is great. I was trying to work out how I could incorporate it into a project, but I'll have to think about that for another day. So, we've got three rolls of tape. So, you've got your widest one then you've got a silver narrow one which i think is rather classy and then you've got your medium sized roll which has um, a variety of shells on it now these are quite um, illustrative so they're quite grey um, and this made me wonder if you could actually colour in this washi tape so I tried with a pencil and a, an ordinary water pen and if you just look in the corner here you'll see that the ink does work on the washi tape and it's not smearing or anything so I think these are an absolute genius idea because we can colour these to match our projects moving on to the finishing touches to our cards and projects and here 
we've got a brilliant set of sequins look at the colors in there absolutely joyous and you've got a very large packet so they will keep you going a long long time but everything coordinates and then we've got a shape that I haven't seen before from craft consortium and these are enamel drops not enamel dots but enamel drops so there's 64 in here and I'm just going to bring in the classic enamel dots that we normally see where you have 80 and you can see if I bring them up the difference in the size so these enamel drops are slightly bigger and they are literally like the mini raindrops so I think that is really clever to do that to go along with the water theme in this collection and then we have another new product to play with and that is some pre premium craft dies so you've got them in seaweed in two different sizes and in the classic starfish and I would say that these measure well the largest seaweed is round about five centimeters wide and six centimeters in length and the starfish is round about three and a half centimeters square so those little embellishments will work really well with everything else that you have in the collection so i think you'll agree washi tape we've got the metal charms We've got the stamps, we've got the new enamel drops, we've got sequins and we've got the fabulous wooden embellishments. I think if you buy yourself a 6x6 or a 12x12 paper pad you are going to have an enormous amount of fun using all of these products. So now we'll move on to the fantastic papers. So once again, here is the 6x6 paper pad. And as I've mentioned before, Craft Consortium are really good at scaling down this 6x6 from the 12x12. So it's up to you. You can either use the smaller patterns on their own with all those amazing embellishments that I've shown you or you can go for the 12 by 12 paper pad. This is Katie Hackney down here, and she is the talented illustrator of this collection. And it's actually the ninth paper craft collection that she has illustrated in collaboration with the team at Craft Consortium. But um, I have had this collection for a couple of days now, and I have been completely blown away by the quality of the illustrations. Um, I think I'm going to have to buy another book because I'm going to find it really, really hard to cut into this. So as much as I'm inspired by it, I, a little part of the crafter in me is thinking, but I don't want to spoil the papers. So this is a 12 by 12. It contains 40 double-sided sheets and you've got your 200 GSM acid free paper here is your front page with the additional topper elements and this time you can see the stamps and the um, wooden embellishment the same images but much larger let me really quickly pull in the stamps and you can see the difference in the sizes of the images again if I take the six by six you've got the same again but then the lighthouse is scaled down again so it's really up to you you can mix and match everything or you can say to yourself well I prefer to work with smaller images so I'll go for the six by six or I'm happy mixing the stamped images and the wooden embellishments with the larger paper pad. The stamps work with both sizes of paper, um, but again, if I was you, I would buy everything because I just think it's incredible. Then we move on to the papers. Now, your first sheets 
straight away the first sheet that you go into has got sheen on it so it's being embossed and there you've got it looks like a calm sea and the background is a very very delicate grey with the gloss from the paper just adding that little bit of interest then we move on to the lighthouses I just think these papers are screaming out for mail cards and we're coming up to Father's Day in the UK. My dad would have absolutely adored these papers and really all you need to do is take a strip of this, put dad on it and most men would be happy with that. So moving on from the nautical stripes, you've got coordinating yachts. Um, with the double sails in the red and the really smart navy blue and then we move more on to the sea life to the by the shore creatures so you've got incredibly detailed let me bring it up for you look at the detail in those drawings Katie Hackney is a very talented artist and then we've got the birds I believe these are oyster catchers but again please do forgive me if I'm telling you the wrong names for any of these creatures but you can just tell that they will sue anybody they will you could send it to a, a bird watcher or someone who just loves animals you've got some flora here very natural colours, they're really really delicate. When you look at the flowers it's almost like they've been stamped in a mustard yellow and navy blue and a red and a green and I think that really works. So you don't always have to colour in your images. If you use a coordinating ink pad you can get the same effect as this. Then we move on to the, the the little glass boys, and then you've got your sea lions here. Just incredible drawings. And going back to these sea lions, they're big enough that you could cut those out, so you could have a whole family waiting on the beach and looking at the visitors coming down. It's so natural and organic, it, it's just a joy to look at. So I think I'm going to pinch this idea and when I use these stamps I'm going to stamp in red and green and blue and see if I can emulate some of these colours. Rather than just colouring them in, I'm going to use my ink pads to allow me to do the work. So there's the lobster caught in the pot and then we've got some pearlescent this is like an inky blue so you've got your crab and it's almost like it's been drawn with ink and then matching seaweed but really really classy I would have this as wallpaper You'll have to let me know in the comments below if you are enjoying this paper collection as much as I am. You can see that it's different to tell the bees, but it's completely on a par. I think she's done for sea life what um, tell the bees did to our little, little bee colonies. So you've got really classy bubbles and that's all it is but it really works and again it's got a soft sheen on it and then inky blue and grey shells I really like this change with the colour palette and the uh, style of drawing because it's not always about hand colouring everything when the illustrations are so good you can just allow them to do all of the work. This one is embossed and again you could cut them out and layer them up with some of the stamps that you have but really really high quality. We've got shoals of fish 
beautiful patterns just swirling you can just see it coming from real life she must have spent hours drawing all of these it's brilliant work and then you've got your starfish and we're coming towards the end so I'm very quickly just going to show you how everything this colour palette of greys and inky blues and this warm, it's like a warm cream if that makes sense. It's outlined in brown but the colours are ivories and greens and blues. This is a beautiful page. And then you've got that little trick of using your inks to colour the stamps, more brilliant drawings and then you've got more of those background papers with the stripes and back to the beginning with the water and that's only one side. You could do the same again if you went from the other direction where you've got the shells and you've got the crabs. I'm taking my time with this because I think it warrants it. I just think it's an incredible set of papers. And finally at the end, we have more of the toppers. So again, you could cut these out. You probably find that you can cut them on your scan and cut if you're careful. Um, but I think that I will be buying a second set of this paper pad just so that I can admire the quality of the work. I'm going to use this colour palette in my samples and I will be back shortly to share with you what I've made. So here's the first of my samples and it is actually a box frame and the reason I've done this is because I thought that the front cover of the 6x6 was a picture in itself. So I've taken out the wording and added a little bit of water with one of the wooden embellishments some netting inside and then I've added the strips of washi tape to add the seashell theme to the frame itself and some more wooden embellishments I think that would make a superb gift for a family member then I've gone with my trademark clean and simple designs and these are the stamps uh, inked out in grey to match the background paper and then I've offset them um, to give the feeling that you're walking through uh, the seashore. Moving on I have a little trio of cards here so again really simple designs but I think very effective so the background papers are taken from the 6x6, um, a little design difference on each one of them. Then I have coloured in the stamps um, and a quick tip is to colour uh, or rather stamp in the colour closest to the one that you're going to pencil or pen colour in. And then you'll find that you won't have these harsh lines. So everything will blend together. So there's the crab, the lobster, and then finally the yacht. Then we have some DL cards and I've gone with the brighter and bold colours. And again, I've incorporated the stamping without colouring in them in necessarily because I was using that same technique as Katie Hackney of using the ink to represent the colour rather than spending lots of time colouring them in. So this is a hanging of the glass boys and hanging in between them we have the starfish. Another DL card, again in a bright colour, and this time it's landscape. So I'm using the water to create my horizon, and then the yachts are it's so it, sailing in between one another, and then one more wooden embellishment to finish it off. And then again with this brightly coloured frame, I've created a circular easel card, 
and again I'm using the embellishments to as a stopper so they're fairly simple cards but I'm using a mix of the paper designs to give me depth and a background and then the embellishments on the top. Moving on to a larger project this took some time to construct because I was really making it up as I go along but that's what happens when I'm really creating and using all my crafting skills so I began with a cardboard circular frame which I then covered in two sets of the paper I then added a toil netting to the back of this and this became the front cover for my shaker card this then required some uh, foam pads to lift it up and then I added a background of the smaller lighthouse paper for using the 6x6 papers. Uh, we then put in some sequins and some stamped starfish. And then I arranged the other stamps into a harbour scene with the lighthouse in the background and the curlew in the foreground. I think that would make a really cool father's day card or a birthday card for someone special so here is a really simple and elegant card using the seaweed background papers along with a line of uh, stamped out shells in matching colors now i've got a few more shaped cards and i believe this is called a four winged or a four panelled card this began life as a folded cube I then added panels to each of the sides of the coordinating paper and you can see that I've built up different scenes using a frame of a circle and then the various starfish and seaweed dyes intermingled again with the stamps and some of the cut out papers. So you've got the puffin and the crab, the curlew, and the lobster. So when you ha leave it on the mantelpiece, you'll have a four-sided card to look at. If you wanted to leave one side free to add your sentiment, then that would work as well. But for the purposes of showing off all the different designs, this worked for me. And then, of course, you can just simply lie it flat for posting another shaped card this is very um, popular card design at the moment the bay window and so here I've used the puffins that have been coloured in and I've layered them up onto the panels of the smaller 6x6 paper it's a really good way of making the collection go further if you buy the 6x6 and the 12x12 so the front of the card lays within a panel because you've got a slight foam a slightly raised area with the foam pads and then you open it up and you've got your sentiment and again pull it out and it will lie flat for posting here's another shaker card and all i've done this time is created a panel inside this piece of cream card and uh, backed it with some of the stripy paper added a few sequins so that you and given the impression that you've got the sea behind me or the sky behind the lighthouse and then the seal is in the foreground with just a little touch of shadowing underneath so there you go there are all my card samples i think it really is a gorgeous gorgeous collection of papers i would put this one on a par with uh tell the bees because i just think that the sketching the illustrations are exceptional it's quite hard to cut into at the beginning because the papers are just so gorgeous but if you're like me then you'll end up buying two collections anyway because there's just so much you can do with it it's suitable for sea lovers it's suitable for people that live by the coast it's suitable for the male members of your family 
so it's a really really versatile kit thank you for joining me i hope that you will enjoy playing with this collection as much as i have please do like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel happy crafting and i'll see you again very soon bye bye for now Thank you.